Good evening, YouTubers. It's Justin or New Time Travel Jaime 88. Welcome back to my channel. As you probably heard the news, actress Kirstie Alley has passed away yesterday at the long battle with cancer, a short battle with cancer at the age of 71. As a tribute, I am going to show off my Kirstie Alley movies. My Chris, Kirstie Alley movie collection. As you can see, I have nine of her movies. Eight on VHS and one on Laserdisc. Now, Kirstie Alley, best known to star in her first feature film debut in Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. And then she joined the cast in Cheers in 1987. Before she became an actress... She started out, started out as a contestant on MASH Game. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, um, like I said, I have all nine movies on there. So, let's show them. I'm going to show you all, you guys. Okay. First up, here's Star Trek II, The Wrath of Kind. And this is Kirstie Alley's first Feature film debuted as Savick. This movie is from 1982 with William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly. Also starring James Doohan, Walter Koenig, George Takei, Nichelle Nichols, B.B. Beach, Merritt Budrick, Paul Winfield, Kirstie Alley, and Ricardo Maltaban. Directed by Nicholas Meyer. One hundred and thirteen minutes rated PG. I also have the widescreen copy on VHS, and I also got it on DVD and Blu-ray. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. Printed in the 27th week of 1989. Up next, here is Loverboy, 1989 movie with Patrick Dempsey. Also has Kate Jackson, Carrie, the late Carrie Fisher, Barbara Chiara, and Kirstie Alley. Some of you own Linda Boutonier used to own this tape, but now she now loan it to me. Got this at um. Valley, no, uh, Salvation Army back in 2013. Purchased on Blockbuster on May 18th, 1995. Funny film. I also got it on DVD. Rated PG 13 and it's 98 minutes. This film is directed by John Micklin Silver. No, Joan. Micklin Silver. Here's the sticker label for Moreno from Blockbuster. Here's the end label. The 43rd week of 1989. Moni Sound Barcode. Okay. Next up, here's Shoot to Thrill. With Sydney, with the late Sydney Poitier, and this movie also has Tom Berenger and Kirstie Alley. Directed by Roger Spotswood, the movie's from 1989. A red hot thriller, says New York Times. My mom saw this movie on Encore. 109 minutes, rated R. Rentless, exciting. It grabs and it doesn't let go, says the Hollywood Reporter. Here's the ink label. The print date is Veterans Day, November 11th, 1995. Next, here's Luke Who's Talking. This is a 1990 VHS of the 1989 movie with... John Travolta, Kirstie Alley, also has Olympia Dukakis, George Siegel, Abe Bengoda, and Bruce Willis. 
Directed by Amy Heckering. Two thumbs up, stated by the late Siskel and Ebert. Rated PG-13. And it's 96 minutes. Here's the sticker label and label. The 14th week of 1990, Moni Sound Barcode. I don't know if these two goals, these three goals first. Let me know. Here is Madhouse. This movie is also funny with John Larry Kett and Kirstie Alley. This also has Allison, Allison LaPlaca, John Dial, Jessica Lundy, Bradley Gregg, and Dennis Miller, and Robert Gently. Directed by Tom Ropowski. The bad news is you have house guests. There is no good news. And this movie did recently release on DVD in 2015 by Alla Films. Rated PG-13 in its 90 minutes. Here's the ink label. And this is a um, reprint. Probably recorded on an EP mode. The 80th day of 1995. Next, here's Luku's Talking 2 with John Travolta and Kirstie Alley once again. And featuring the voices of Bruce Willis, Roseanne Barr, Barr and Damon Wayans. This also has Olympia Dukakis Elias Cotis, directed by Amy Heckering. Now, in the trailer, it, it, it used to originally supposed to have Richard Pryor, but drop out instead, replaced with Damon Wayans from A Living Color. Ready PG 13 and his 81 minutes. This is still in seal, but it's open from the bottom. Here's the sticker label and label. The 14th, the 24th week of 1991, Moaning Sound Barcode. Next, here's Sibling, sibling Rivalry with Kirstie Alley. This also has Bill Pullman, Carrie Fisher, Jamie Gertz, Scott Bakula, Sam Neill, and I mean, no, Sam Elliott, wrong Sam. Sam Elliott, not Sam Neill, silly me. And Ed O'Neill, directed by Carl Reiner. The film is from 1990. Rated PG-13 in its 90 minutes. I know MGM, I know this movie came, they came out on the MGM Movie Time VHS. Here's the ink label. No print date. Then I have Luke Who's Talking Now with um, John Travolta, Kirstie Alley. Also has Danny DeVito and Diane Keaton. Directed by Tom Ropolsky. This movie is from 1993. This movie also has um, David Gallagher and Tabitha Lupin, I believe. Yeah. This movie is rated PG-13 and it's 85 minutes. This is a 1994 VHS. Here's the sticker label with the Columbia TriStar holograph on there. The 18th week of 1994. And finally, is It Takes Two. Yep, this is the 1995 Laserdisc release with Kirstie Alley, Steve Gutenberg, with the Olsen twins, Mary Kay and Ashley. And this also has Philip Bosco, James Sebet, directed by Andy Tennant. Two identical strangers, two different worlds, one perfect match. 
And this is a Warner Brothers family entertainment film co-produced by Rat Reiser Entertainment. Unfortunately, I heard that this movie is not in the hands of Reiser anymore. I'm not sure, but this movie is still under Warner Brothers. But this movie did came out on DVD, but it's in full screen. There is no widescreen release on DVD, and this movie is not out on Blu-ray. Absolutely delightful and irresistible, says Michael Medved, a sneak previews. This film is presented in widescreen. Rated PG in its 101 minute. Okay, so there you have it. That's my Kirstie Alley movie collection. Thank you for enjoying this video. If you like, make sure to um, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and don't, and don't forget to turn on the notification button.